What's up everyone, my name is Vlad and today we're gonna be talking about color grading, namely how we can easily color grade our weddings video to make them more cinematic and bright. I will share with you all my tips, just full process from the very beginning when I just transferred all footages from the camera to my computer to the final result. If someone doesn't know, my main camera is a Sony a7 III 4K 25fps or Full HD 100fps if I want to film slow motion videos. And in this particular case, everything, all footages were filmed with picture profile signed for still color space. Here you can see all its settings, so if you want to try it, please welcome. In most cases, of course, I prefer to use HOG3 with color space BT2020, but in this case I was the second videographer and the main camera was the Sony a7 IV with Cinetone picture profile. Which is why I was using Sign 4, because exactly these settings with this picture profile produce a similar picture as the Sony a7 IV with Cinetone. What else? All tools which I use like adjustment layer or cinematic LUTs I will put by following link below the video and yeah, that's all. Pleasant viewing. So let's get started. As usual I will work in Final Cut Pro 10, but you can also do the same things in Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, it doesn't actually matter. So almost all programs have the same tools, you just need to get used to them. Yeah, okay. Here on the timeline we already have our raw footages and what I used to make at first, I record exposure on each clip to make the same brightness of all footages. Let's make it on the first clip. I will open color inspector and here I will choose color wheels. Then I need to open waveforms. I will click here view and video scopes. And here I will choose waveform and luma. Great. Now we have our frame and our luma waveform. Let's drop the shadows a bit until the zero line and increase our highlights and of course make sure that our <coughs> and of course make sure that the skin tone of the subject is not overexposed or vice versa not underexposed Let's go to the next clip and correct it. Let's open color wheels again. And of course pay attention with the bride's dress. It is very important. It shouldn't be overexposed but underexposed as well. So check it. Ok, we have done our first step, we record exposure in each clip, we make them the same and now we can start our general color grading in all clips. In order to make this I will use adjustment layer and drag it above all clips. And first what I want to do is add our cinematic LUT and for this purpose I need to open effects and find our custom LUT and drag it on our adjustment layer. Now let's take a look and find the best cinematic LUT for this particular wedding. It can take some time.
yeah probably i will use my favorite cinematic lot let's adjust the mix to nearly 40 50 percent and here we're done Then let's go to the color curves to make our clips more contrast. Push up a bit shadows to get these tasty shadows like in movies. And drop down a bit highlights to make them more soft. We already made this cinematic teal hue in green colors and now I want to do the same thing with orange and correct our skin tone. Let's quickly check the colors and exposure on each clip again. Well, I like everything we have done and finally we can see our result. How it was, how it is. And I want to mention again that it is always your personal taste, right? It doesn't matter that you should to do everything as I do with each step. It's just some tools which I personally like to use and which you can also try in your editing, try to work with different hue, more or less contrast, saturation, different LUTs and eventually you will definitely find the best cinematic look for you. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if it is, make sure to give this video a like, don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next videos, in the next videos, on the next in or in the next, please give a comment, bye!